All right, hello internet, it's Toy again and I have another author interview to share with you. Today I'm going to be interviewing Joanna the Fairy. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm good. I'm very excited to learn about you and your work. Why don't you tell us just a little bit about yourself to get started? Well, I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm 36 years old. Uh, I have one child and one on the way. And ever since I was younger, I've always loved writing. I've been writing poetry since I was 10 years old. Been on the school newspaper team. And it just stuck with me. So I just decided last year I wanted to publish a book and I just had time. I was pregnant. <laughs> oh, mom, so I did it. <laughs> that actually kind of sounds like fun. I wish I had kind of started out like that. <laughs> um, but tell me, I mean, you, you just kind of told me a little bit about, but maybe give a little bit more of the motivation behind that first kind of writing project that you did. Um, well, this poetry book, I think the motivation behind it was just cleansing cleansing and just releasing a lot of bad memories from my past and from my childhood and that's why i named it cluttered memories because they just they had a big impact in my life some positive and some not so would you say this particular project is more of um for, for for people who might be interested in it this is more of a, a motivational or, or an inspirational read or like what genre would you say? We know it's poetry, but like how would you classify for someone interested in wanting to read it? Um, I would classify it as that we all have bad circumstances that we go through, but there is light at the end of the tunnel and we can surpass them and get out of them and have a happily ever after. It is possible. Okay. I'm proof of that. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. Um, is would would you say your message is is it a, is it a faith based message or is it um something more like I don't know exactly like does it I guess yeah does it follow a particular faith or is it more of something internal? It's more of something internal, okay. definitely. But a, I think a lot of people can definitely relate. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Now, is there anything that you're working on right now that we should be looking out for? Um, I actually am. I'm working on my second book already. Oh, which good. Is, it's going to be a children's book. So I think I'm going to release that probably in the springtime around April. Okay. Yeah. Can so I'm working on that. I'm excited. Are you illustrating or are you hiring an illustrator? I'm going to hire an illustrator. That's yeah. a smart move. I illustrated my own books. I kind of wish I had. Oh, wow. <laughs> I kind of wish I could illustrate my own. <laughs> I, if you can get someone else to do it, do that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's see. Um, now, you say that you've been writing since you were a kid. What, I guess, I know how it is for me, but I know everyone is different. Like, what purpose or function do you feel that writing fulfills for you? Like, why do you write? Therapy. Therapy. Therapeutic. Get my feelings out. Some things that I can't say to people, I would just write it out through my poetry and through short stories I would write as a kid as well. That's cool. I, I think I find writing to be therapeutic too, but I, I do more of like fiction narratives and I just kind of put my emotions onto my characters. <laughs> hmm, that's good though. Now, you said you have the one book of poetry out, you're working on the children's book now. So you're, I mean, I feel like once you've got something out for the public, you're it, you're legit. You know, you're the, you're the real deal. <laughs> so because you're the real deal, do you have any advice for aspiring writers? Uh... Let me see. Yeah, I kind of do. If, if you get writer's block, just write anything down. Write anything that you feel. Don't think about it too much. When you think about it too much, nothing's going to come out and you're just, you're going to drive yourself crazy. 
Just write anything. If you want to write, the door is big or the door is red, just start there. Just write something. Just start. So. I, I think that's excellent advice. I feel like a lot of times when we don't have ideas coming, we don't write, and therefore we have writer's block. But like you said, if you just write something, you can get past it. Mm -hmm. Excellent yep. advice. That's wonderful. So before we go, why don't you tell our viewers where they can learn more about you, where they can find you online if they want to connect? Okay, well, my book is on Amazon. It's called Cluttered Memories, and it's under Joanne Lipford. And I also have a little author bio if you want to read that about me as well, just talking about where I come from. And I'm also on Instagram, Jess Josie underscore the underscore poet. So that's the perfect way to find me. Awesome. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much, Joanne the Fairy, for joining us today. Thank you all for joining us today. And be sure to come back and see who I interview next. Bye for now. Thank you.